Hello and welcome back. Last time we installed a web browser. Yeah? This time we're installing PHP My Admin. Okay. Of course, there's already there's also a command. Of course, it's also uh, also coming from the uh, repository. You have to update the repository. You have to upgrade your uh, packages on your Raspberry. However. Right now, in my situation, I just did it some minutes ago when I shot the uh, different the previous video. Okay, so I will not do this. I will simply call the command to install PHP my admin. Okay. So the command is sudo apt of course uh, install php my admin Ma, sounds reasonable enter running yeah. it takes yeah it will take 55 megabyte of new memory yeah yes 55 megabytes 2020 now yeah when you're watching maybe even later megabyte Okay, first question. This is new. Huh? This is new during installation process. We we'll ask something. Yeah? There are two possibilities already built in in the install configuration. Yeah? We can automatically install Apache 2 or Light TPT. Light TPT. We are using Apache 2. Yeah? So this with space. Blank, I select this, tap, I change to OK, pick. Now it's proceeding. PHP My Admin. Yeah? My Admin was produced for MySQL, of course. Yeah? Since MariaDB is a branch, yeah? since MariaDB is a branch of MySQL, uh, it is working. Yeah? So we are just using. Actually, we're using the wrong tool, but up to now they're very compatible. Okay. So we can use my admin not only for MySQL but also for MariaDB. This is what we're going to do. Yeah. This will install and install. It simply takes a while. PHP, PHP my admin. This will prohibit. Uh, using the root user in MariaDB. From a security point of view, this is very sensible. Yeah? So we have to, in MariaDB, we have also to, to add a new user and grant quite a lot of rights to them, yeah? which is then used by PHP MyAdmin. Okay, next thing, configuration of the database. Yeah, yes. We want to have the standard configuration, please. Yes. Ah, huh? <laughs> still the wrong window active. Cook, 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 cook. Select this window. Yes. Oh, now we need to 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 select a passport uh, for PHP my admin uh, a passport a password yeah? this you have to remember yeah I will use a password you have to enter it twice to prevent typos okay? it's good for me good for everybody but you need to remember it or write it down Yeah, like I said, we need to, to give uh, a, a certain new user, which will then be used by PHP MyAdmin for accessing the databases, all the necessary rights. Yeah. So, well, let's start MariaDB, sudo MariaDB, okay. and we will use this, yeah. we 
Now we create a user and, and grant writes with a single command. This looks like this. Right? Grant all privileges. Privileges on everything. Yeah? Every database, every table. Yeah? And now we implicitly create a user. Yeah? So I will use this php myadmin add this is not an add this is an add localhost I need to give a password okay? identified by and now a password I will simply use this yeah, with grand option so the user should be able to also grant things okay. basically this is now producing a new route you can say book you have an error uh, identified Previous, of course, privileges, privileges. Still not. Ah, oh, PHP, my admin. Two is missing. Two is missing. Ah, finally. Last one was the right one. Huh? The previous, it's just for teaching. <laughs> of course. Uh, well, we now had, have a new user, PHP my admin, add localhost with a password, and this user has a new, every new, uh, every privilege we can think of okay that's what we need to do in MariaDB works now uh, we need to do some configurations in the configuration of the uh, Apache yeah? we need to tell yeah some things there's a process running. This Apache service a process now running. Process now running on the on the Raspberry. In this configuration file of the process, we uh, need to change something. Okay. This configuration file we can find under etc. Apache2, apache2.conf and we will nano this, so we'll text edit this. So a super user we will nano this file etc apache2 apache2.conf This, there should be a file. Yeah. This is for, for sure not correct. Ah, I bet you I've written wrong. Ah. ah, there. It cannot be empty. There is something configured. Okay. So, also for teaching. Scroll down. This is quite a huge file already. Yeah? This is why I was confused. It's not it's empty. This is not possible. So here at the end, we need to include every 
every configuration which is necessary for PHP MyAdmin. Okay, so we write include. You see, it's written here also include, include, include. So we now include etc php my admin apache.conf this is where the configurations of php my admin are inside these configurations need to be added to the configuration of apache web server okay it's a service from from php my admin good let's save this now let's see if I have a typo. Include etc php my admin apache.conf. Should work. Save it. Yes. Good. Now we need to restart the service. Remember, we did this also with MariaDB. When we installed MariaDB, we also restarted the service. So we will restart start now our web server. Yeah. sudo service. Apache 2 restart should run. Huh? Is it still running? Well, still responding, same page, new, newly built, should work. Okay. To run PHP my admin, yeah, we simply We simply change to the web server. Yeah. This and use here PHP my admin. Ta ta. Here we are. Yeah. This is the file, or this is the web site of PHP my admin. Now I can use php my admin and the password hdl stp and here I am here is my database here is my address list click on it aha uh -huh. this is happening sometimes yeah? if we say ignore everything then we see our address list. It's just, it was now performing select star from address list and so on. But now we can clear, bearbeiten, so, so edit and so on, everything on the website. That's nice. What is a little bit annoying, yeah? what is a little bit annoying is that we get this error message some star or I, I'm not sure how this can happen however we need to change something in a configuration file okay if this is happening to you try this solution okay sudo nano and now we're going to the line 613 in a certain file and this certain file is user share php my admin libraries sql dot lib dot php this is a, a script file actually and here is the error yeah here is the error this one this line here is wrong here we need to close yeah. however here it's one too much yeah. the brackets are wrong so x save yes now let's try <laughs> still not working ah we have to restart the service we have to restart the service yeah. so we uh, service apache 2 restart 
Good. Now let's try. Not working. Exit. I have done this, right? Ah, here. Haha! <laughs> I make it worse. I did make it worse. Here the bracket is correct. <laughs> Remember this? Good. Restart the service. Ah, please. Don't. Ha! Go to dunk. Yeah. Now it's working without error. Yeah. This is the error. If you not got it, there is. You can find it on the internet. I found it there too, and you can find it in my script. Oh, okay. Uh, well, this is PHP my admin. Yeah. What you can do about this, what we can do, uh, I will make a different video. For this time, I'd say thank you very much for listening and goodbye.